Putin's complacent air force fails to gain control in Ukraine. Vladimir Putin's air forces have failed to impress in the Russian invasion of Ukraine, and the forces are unaccustomed to fighting in the air, according to a former RAF pilot. Many in the West had predicted an aerial assault on Ukraine would be a cornerstone of the Russian offensive towards Kiev. But Russian aircraft have been conspicuously absent from Ukrainian airspace. Former RAF pilot Andy Netherwood attributed this, for the most part, to Russian inexperience in dominating the skies during a conflict. He told The Telegraph, Russia has been hindered by complacent and arrogant planning in the air domain as much as in the land, backslash, the Russian Air Force has very little recent combat experience other than Syria. You don't really know how good an air force is until it has to fight a war, it is, not impressing. Mr. Netherwood added, air is usually a contested domain just like land. However, Justin Bronk, an air power specialist at the Royal United Services Institute, warned this could change as the conflict develops. In a new paper, entitled The Mysterious Case of the Missing Russian Air Force, he wrote Air Force commanders may be reluctant to commit the bulk of their potential striking power against Ukrainian troops before political approval is granted to employ unguided munitions to bombard Ukrainian-held urban areas. He added, this indiscriminate form of air attack was standard practice for Russian and Syrian air force operations over Aleppo and Homs, and unfortunately is likely to be employed by the Russian air forces over Ukraine in the coming days. Mr. Bronk continued on to caution that Russian attacks on Ukraine could easily turn into a protracted campaign. Analysts had predicted, as Russia kicked off its assault, that one of the first targets would be to take out Ukraine's air weaponry and defenses.